This video is about the Congress of Vienna. In the year 1814, the European powers convened in Vienna to decide the faith of the continent. The main persons involved were Prince Clemens von Metternich for Austria, Charles Maurice de Tyron for France, the Tsar Alexander I for Russia, Prince Karl August von Hardenberg for Prussia, and Viscount Kasseri for the United Kingdom. Shortly before the Congress, the European powers could defeat Napoleon Bonaparte. The Bourbon monarchy was restored in France, but it should be mentioned that Bonaparte came back for the reign of the Hundred Days, but then in the end he was defeated, it was his final battle, he lost the Battle of Waterloo. Anyway, during the Napoleonic Wars there were extensive territorial changes, especially regarding the German states. And, after the French Revolution, liberal ideas spread across Europe. Now, before the Congress on the 30th of May 1814, the Peace of Paris, Napoleon was defeated and the Bourbon monarchy was back. The Congress of Vienna started on the 18th of September 1814 and ended the next year on the 9th of June. The Congress was chaired by the Austrian Foreign Minister Metternich. Now the style of the Congress. It's also said it was the Danzig Congress, lots of pomp and pleasure, and you wonder, did the diplomats, the delegates, did they actually work? But, of course, with all the joy, all the fun, they worked. And this time, not the whole assembly would discuss uh, things. The results were developed in commissions. There was the, German, the Commission for German Questions, for Territorial Questions, for River Traffic and Slavery. The delegates... Um, had no problems with the main objectives, and there was unity. They were aiming to bring the, the world from before the French Revolution, bring this world back. So they agreed on legitimacy, meaning the reinstitution of the old dynasties, as well as restitution, restore the old societal order, authority, the absolute power lies with the monarch, and the normal citizens simply do not have much of a say. Uh, solidarity, the monarchs should help each other if there is a revolution. And in foreign policies, bands of powers prevent a future war between the nations, between the countries, so bands of powers in international affairs. But there were some problems regarding political and territorial aspects, and actually there were a few moments when a new war could... Um, could have broken out again. Now territorial changes, and they were quite massive ones. Firstly, France remained a great power in Europe. Then the Netherlands gained the Habsburg territories in the northwest. Sweden gained Norway from Denmark. Russia gained Finland and lots of and, and uh, lots of Poland. Whilst Austria gained Galicia. Illyria, Venice, Lombardy, and Tuscany. German states were reduced to 41, and there were some border adjustments. And now Prussia gained uh, territories in the west um, and in the north. Further results. There was, the German Confederation was founded. It's a loose confederation presided by Austria. Slavery was banned, free international traffic on rivers, diplomatic rules were established, and the Swiss neutrality also goes back to the Vienna Congress. The consequence of impact. The old order was restored, the order from before the French Revolution. And that meant that national liberal ideas and developments, especially in Germany, were delayed. France, as mentioned before, remained a great power. As Perfect in uh, negotiations by Tayron. Prussia, uh, Russia, and Austria could strengthen their positions and important the first step, even though it should take a long, long time, but the first step to a German nation state was the reduction to 41 German states. In Germany, there is then the double hegemony of Prussia and Austria, and also then the dualism between Prussia and Austria, the struggle for dominance uh, within Germany between these two states started. 
and there was a direct border between Prussia and France, and that um, yeah, gave the potential for German-French conflicts, and that should happen. There was the Franco-Prussian War of 1870, which led then to the unification of Germany, to the foundation of the German Empire. That was the Congress of Vienna in five.